Welcome back everybody to Control. Thank you all for checking this out. It means a lot. If you could leave a like and hit up that comment section below, that would help a lot as well. Thank you for anything like that that you do. Uh, anyway, on with the game. Now, where do I go? Uh, okay, forward. That's uh, pretty straightforward. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. This must open the door. Hey, hey, hey! Clearance level one, finally. I can backtrack now and unlock a few of those rooms. See what's in them. Uh, I assume there's two, there's the control points and then there's ones like these, which just fast travel. Because you can change outfits and whatnot on control points. Ah, I can throw shit back at Right, first death. First death of the game. And I got through the entire intro without dying. Um, which is probably a good thing for me. I say probably, it's definitely a good thing. I have to sort of get used to the fact that I got a health bar in this. Which is not really something I should have difficulty adjusting to. I've been playing a lot of PUBG lately. Okay. Cool. Didn't start back miles away or anything like that.
have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Wow. The mailroom took one hell of a beating. Take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but you can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all the that in the short inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Huh. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. The hotline can't be far now. So yeah, I'm assuming that's the way out. That's the way I came in. House memory. I like that bit though, the last video where it was like, uh, this floppy disk gives you telekinesis. I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, it's like the whole idea that just because something looks old doesn't mean it's, you know, it's like not powerful or something. Like, you know, the floppy disks teach you powers and this gun looks like a toy, but it's like never ending ammo or, you know. Hotline chamber. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. Is the guy voicing director Trench the same guy who voices Max Payne? At least in Max Payne 3. I'll have to hear more of his dialogue, but I think it might be. Whoa. Have we been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road. On the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Uh, I get the feeling in one of these rooms Alan Wake is sleeping from uh, if anyone's played American Nightmare I'm sure he stays in a motel like this in the start hmm where am I going that's the only room that's open there doesn't seem to be much traverse. The Ocean View Motel is the only objective. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much here, though. I'm overlooking something, obviously. Come on! Oh. There's a door opening and locking somewhere. 
I don't think any of these doors open. So it must be on the other side. Oh. Back to the light switch. Oh wait, what? I just noticed that. Any other keys? Maybe? No. Eh, it was a long shot. Okay, I, I assume I just run away from it. Yeah, no, 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 I'm down. Yeah, okay. These guys do seem a bit like dicks throwing me in a dimension with weird monsters that try and kill me. And I'm supposed to be working for them. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. 
Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. can reach Dredge. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Yeah, that is People actually... React strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Just in case, you know, she speaks again. Yeah, that is actually the guy who voices Max Payne, who's voicing Director Trench. He also, the same guy who also voiced the character in Alan Wake. Um, uh, I think he's like the original author that the creature uses before Alan. Just a, you know, a little bit of trivia there. Wait, what am I doing? There's a fast travel point right there. Nope, not there. Where was that fast? I'm kind of spun out again now. Ah. There's an office space. Oh, that big old blinding white light right behind where the guy sits. Oh wait, no wait, what? Oh. This is the director's office space. His body is gone. That's not worrying. I don't know if we can actually unlock outfits in this. And what's the points for, I wonder? Oh, oh! Hello! Did not know this was a thing. Assets. So these are all the materials I got. I got level one, cool. Unknown caller. I like how it's an actual a gay four piece of paper with the Federal Bureau of Control sort of watermarked at the bottom. I like that. That's got a nice little touch. Uh, so these are all the random shiz that I've collected. Now, like I said, I'll do a video at some point. I'll do like an episode later on in the walkthrough where I just sort of go through some of these because I, I get I, I they did mention previously that I did read a review where they said a lot of the backstory are told through these things and it's quite interesting like it'll tell you where the gun came from etc etc uh, what's it called? the service weapon
Alright, enough of that. Uh, speak to Emily. Now, uh, she's in the boardroom, I believe. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? <sighs> Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Um, I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Okay, let's uh, get to the... Do you hear that? Huh? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? I'll go look. Do I have any more questions? Hi, Jesse. No. Thanks, but soon. Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Ah, wow. That's uh, opened up a lot of stuff. Abilities. So, we got three more points. Um, yeah, okay, 25% for the launch. Ah, cool! Milestone reward, so I get uh, an additional weapon form slot. Personal mod slot, additional... I assume that just keeps going, maybe. Like, that just keeps... That little milestone thing just moves along the more you upgrade. Um, Hmm. Hmm. 
The stem is sent to energy. Boom! Additional mod slot. Alright! Uh, go for that one as well. So, kind of all round improvement. Hmm, weapon forms. Uh huh, I'm about 800 below what I need. So this is kind of like a shotgun, I think, maybe? Construct Shatter. Plus thirty percent extra damage. I'll do one more. I need a threshold remnant and five thousand source. Wow, I've gone through a lot of source. I got enough house memory. So okay, so that's what that all all those uh materials before this stuff. Board countermeasures, what's the survival tactics? Kill enemies without dying. So these are like challenges. I'll accept that. Kill his guards, they are minor threats. I'll accept that. Kill enemies using melee. Sure thing. I'll just accept them all, I think. Using grip, kill enemies with... Yeah, fine. Alright, I can only accept three, it seems. Kill enemies with a service weapon in any mode. Ten. Sure, alright. Any... Nope. Oop, no, that one. So if I go to here... Ah! No, I'm sure I had more, didn't I? Ah, I thought I had the... Uh, oh, I do. Or do I? No, I don't. What? I thought I unlocked an additional slot. Or is that... Oh, no, I think it was a weapon form slot. So this is like the... The other one's like the scatter shot thing. Um... What did I have? Damage after a kill. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Directorial override. Alright, well what I'll be doing is I'll be doing that in the next video. Um, thank you all for checking this out. It does mean a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, if you, know, you leave a like and a comment, God bless you, because that helps as well. To sort of, you know, get the video seen by more people. And I'm not sure how the YouTube algorithm works, but I think it's to do with comments and likes, etc. Uh, it's a, I'll have to do my research, I think. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you all for checking this out. I'll see you next time. I'll be re releasing these fairly regularly, I think. I'll probably release the first episode tonight, I hope. And, I guess, as soon as I got it. And I'll release the following episodes as soon as possible. Hope you're all enjoying. Um, leave a comment down below about my commentary. And what, do you think my, what do you think of my commentary? How you sh think I can improve, etc., etc. Uh, I do like constructive feedback. 
And other than that, well, I hope you have a great time, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you around probably in the next video. Ta-da.